So have you heard that floss is toxic and specifically glide floss? This initially sounded to me like the internet just trying to scare me, but it turns out a lot of it is based on a real scientific study that came out earlier this year. That doesn't mean it's actually something you need to worry about, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. At the heart of this issue are these things called PFAS or perfluoroalkyl substances. PFAS aren't a chemical, but a whole family of chemicals we've been using for about 60 years or so in all sorts of things to make them nonstick, water resistant, and stain resistant. PFAS have been linked to some health risks, and the worst ones have been linked to kidney and testicular cancers, among other things. The thing you need to know about PFAS is that they are everywhere. They don't break down easily, so they tend to stick around and build up in the environment. So they're in the dust floating around your home and work. They're in the soil, they're in the ocean. And most concerning, they show up in detectable amounts in your blood. So let me just insert some good news into the bleak picture I've just painted. Research shows that the amount of PFAS in people's blood has been steadily decreasing over the past 10 or 15 years. So even though I just found out about this stuff, other people have been aware for a while and have been working to make it better. So back to floss. Earlier this year, a study came out that had people fill out a survey with questions like, do you use Glide Floss? Along with a bunch of other questions about activities that might expose someone to PFAS. Then they tested the person's blood to see if certain activities were associated with higher levels of PFAS. They found that using Glide was associated with higher blood levels of a particular PFAS called perfluorohexanosulfonic acid. Nailed it. And while that one may not be harmless, it's not the same one that has been linked to the really scary stuff. Just for the record, no floss is designed to have PFAS in them. Some like Glide have PTFE in them, or as we know it better, Teflon. PTFE isn't a PFAS. You can think of it and things like Gore-Tex as distant cousins of PFAS, and they're generally considered safe. So why does using a PTFE floss raise your blood levels of PFAS? There's not a great answer to that yet. One thought is that PFAS could be involved in the manufacturing process of PTFE floss and some residue of those more harmful chemicals can make their way into the final product. Or, you know, it could just be a coincidence. And that if they did the study over again, they wouldn't find the same results. As the researchers in that study say, additional data are required to verify this finding. So how should you respond to this information? A very reasonable response would be to say, the science is still early, which it is. I'm gonna wait for the scientists to figure this stuff out, and if at some point I need to start worrying about it, the FDA will let me know. Okay, another response would be to try to avoid PTFE floss. And while I think that might be a little premature, I certainly don't blame anybody for doing it. There are plenty of flosses out there that don't have PTFE in them. You don't even really need to spend extra money on like a natural floss to avoid it. I'll put the list of flosses that were analyzed as part of the recent study in the description below if you want to see it for yourself. I'll also include links to the article that brought all this up along with the responses from the ADA. And just in case you were thinking that all this was a good excuse to avoid flossing, no, you still have to floss.